welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys my updated sweat proof brow routine. Okay, so now I'm just brushing my brow hairs into place. Um, I am using the, I think this is the size 12 Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Brush with spoolie on the end and this is what the pomade actually looks like. A little bit of this product goes a long way, so I'm just using the angled side of the brush to fill in any areas of my brows where the hairs aren't as full. And then I'm just going to go back and forth between using the spoolie in to make sure that it's evenly applied and spread out all throughout the brows. And then I'm going to keep going back and forth between making sure that it's even using the angled brush end and the spoolie end. Okay, so now I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. And you can find this at any local beauty supply store. This is in the shade Fawn. They have a thousand colors that you can choose from. And I'm just going to go in with my concealer. And um, I don't know what brush this is. But I'm going to go in with that to clean up the bottom of my brows to give them a sharp, um, defined line Okay, so now that I've created my definition at the bottom of my brows, I'm going to go in with this. Um, it's like a knockoff um, Artiste brush that I got off of eBay. It was a whole set, I think, of like 10 of these brushes in different sizes. And I think I ended up paying like probably $5 for them. And this was some years ago. So I'm just going to use that brush to blend 
the concealer down and to um, conceal my eyelids and prep them for a shadow. Okay, so now that I've finished blending that down in, I'm going to go in with my foundation that I'm going to use. And this is going to be the Born This Way um, foundation by Too Faced. And the shade is going to be Spice Rum. And then I'm going to take that, a little bit of that, and then I'm going to line the top part of my brows using that foundation. So I won't end up with a halo brow. And it also gives a better look, in my opinion, to the whole overall look. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to go back in with one of those um, bigger brushes and I am going to just blend all of this out so that it won't be any kind of harsh lines 
or anything once I put on my foundation because at this point you just want everything to look real natural real seamless and most of the work is already done so if you mess up on this end part then it will show under your foundation and your makeup and you just want everything to look flawless and be blended and seamless And then for the rest of the routine, I just go back in and make sure everything is blended before I do my eyeshadow and then my base. So if you guys like this video, please hit that big thumbs up. Don't forget to join the fam. Hit that subscribe button below as well as that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.